In this tutorial, we're going to talk about another interesting type of pattern, the fill pattern. So from its name, it is filling an area and make it a pattern according to that selected area. So either it can be a sketch or a face or whatever. So let's try to activate the fill pattern. Here, the fill boundary. Let's select that face. So now this face will be the filling boundary. And as you notice, we have these holes from the previous tutorials. So let's see how it will be. Now we have the type of arrangement of the pattern. The feature to pattern, we can select that cut from here. So here you notice that it filled that empty area but it didn't interact with the already found cut. So this is the type of arrangement. You can change it to be circular or more arranged, so on. And here you can make the distance between the instances. So, so let's keep it to zero so this is the fill pattern so when you are done click ok type control c or delete that one and let's try another fill let's create a sketch here and make a slot here Okay, exit. Let's go to the fill pattern, the fill boundary. Select that sketch. We are able to select it now. The feature to pattern. Let's select that cut. So you fill it that slot with this. Cut. So we can make distance between this and here. We can make two that can increase or make twenty to decrease the number. So, so it is up to you how to make it and how you want it so you can play with these values until you get your required pattern so the idea is that you are able to select a sketch created from that face not the whole face when you are done okay